I don't want to set the world on fire. Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? It's a girl? A girl! We've got a daughter, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby girl. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. Oh, a daughter. Oh, our beautiful daughter. You've got a bright future ahead of you, sweetie. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, sweetheart. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, beautiful. Just like her daddy. <laughs> it's a big world out there, honey, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just James? a... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's I in cardiac you... arrest. Start compressions. James. Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? We need a doctor, not a dead man. Fail to meet my expectations and there will be no Don't look straight into the light. It's hurt you in It's just something you could use to like her. Come on over here, sweetie. Come on. Walk to Daddy. Just a little further. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, honey. I'll be back in a bit.
<laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? She is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, honey. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young lady. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know. Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What? Is she your best friend now? Hey, Wally, I think Paul's in love. Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new girlfriend? Who do you mean, dork face here? Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> Are you having a nice time? Nice party. Hey, happy birthday, nosebleed. Attention, everyone. <laughs> it's time to cut the cake. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? I would not like today. So few young people now. But here I am, rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go, a nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. How's it going, sweetheart? Oh, nice no. What is that? Allow me to wish you a happy birthday. Emails? What a piece of junk. You. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed. Give me. Hey there, butt breath. <laughs> Come on, Wally. You always have good ideas. Yeah, I got one. The Mackers. Super cool, right? But you're such an idiot. Just ignore him. Oh well. This is Butch we're talking about, right? I guess we should have expected it. Uh-oh, your dad is giving me a look. I guess I'd better give everyone else a chance to talk to you. Nice Jeez, party. Wally, Daddy, who's the head of the I gang? Told you you not me. to act no all way. official. I know you were joking, but I'm not sure anyone else did. Nonsense. People always enjoy my little speeches. Besides, that friend of yours could use a reminder that life is not all fun and games. Ugh, this is supposed to be a party, you know? Fun? You should try it sometime, Daddy. You might like Maybe. it. I don't know. Maybe. Are you having Shut a nice time? Shut up and let me think of it. Do you think we surprised her? So, what do you I'm think we sure should call her again? I'm sure that Amanda never suspected totally a thing. 
Having, listen, what? Thanks for coming, Hi, honey. Stanley. Having fun? Well, I know you go around all day being cold over here. I can't believe you are You right. really are as dumb as your you look. Oh, sure, nothing to worry about. Me and Andy got her all now, fixed go up on. again last week. Enjoy your party. Happy birthday! How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I help with the decorations, you know. Oh, really? They're lovely. You did such a splendid job. Happy birthday! Jonas? Hey, Doc. We're all set down here. Shows how smart you are, Wally. Thanks. Hello, so Santa, Hello, right down. I'm... Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. I'm well, glad to be here. I, I think know. it's important to keep in touch with the young people, you know, Maybe. as part of my job. Oh, Plus, well, like I that? like parties. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness. I hope I didn't miss the party. Oh, you are so funny. Ten years old, of course you are. Why, you have your Pip-Boy and everything. And do you know what I did, just for the occasion? Wrote you a poem. I hope you like it. No, really, I wrote it just for you. I'd never just copy one of my old poems. Well, there was that one Founder's Day where I couldn't rhyme anything with overseer. But you deserve nothing less than a brand new poem. You can keep it in your Pip-Boy and read it whenever you want. Uh, sure uh, thing, sure. Officer Gomez. I mean, I really well, it's been nice chatting with you. Thanks again for coming. What are you doing down here, young lady? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Oh, I see. Now that you're 10, you're all business. Well then, Missy, we'd better get to it. Happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think I hear someone coming. Are you ready for your surprise? Since when? Regardless. I think you'll like this one. You're getting older, and you've got your Pip-Boy. I figure you're old enough for this, too. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot any time you want. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile. 